All right, we're looking at another Dell R210 server today. We have the H200 RAID controller card into it. We're gonna go ahead and power this up and we're gonna go into that RAID controller card configuration utility. So then we can configure these uh, two new drives in here into a virtual disk. So then we can then install our operating system or a hypervisor on top of it. All right, we wanna do control R. Now that the server booted up, um, we wanna get into the RAID controller configuration. So you make sure you do control R so we can get into there. And we're gonna wait for this to load up. I'll pause it. All right, now this is only if you move hard drives, you uh, put a different RAID controller card in your server, and you already see that there's a virtual disk created. Now, if you just don't care about the data on these drives, and then we can just go ahead and hit F2, and we can delete that VD. So hit yes. So we can start from scratch. So now you can see we have no configuration present in that controller and we're gonna create a new VD. Now, like I said, this is only for if you're creating it uh, like this new server from scratch. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna get F2, create new VD, and then go up to RAID, and we're doing RAID 1 because uh, that'll give us fault tolerance on the drive. So if one of these drives fail, um, then we have the data on the other drive. So go now tab down to the drives and hit the space bar to select those both drives. And you can see our total VD size would be two terabytes, and that's because these are two terabyte drives, and uh, we're doing RAID one. Now, if we did RAID zero, um, it's gonna be faster performance and more storage, but then you don't have the fault tolerance. So you, yeah, that's what we don't want here. We want to be able to have our data uh, safely stored. So we're just gonna do data store here as the name. Uh, advanced options, that's only for advanced stuff. You don't really, the default to use are pretty good. So we're gonna hit okay. And it uh, created. So now what we need to do is to initialize that virtual disk. So we hit F2 again, go to initialization and do fast initialization, hit yes. And that's gonna completely wipe the drives, put it into this new virtual disk array. And then now you can reboot the server, install your favorite hypervisor like ESXi or Citrix or you can just do a bare bone Windows uh, server install or whatever you want to do on this server. So now that it's completed, we can hit okay. We can escape. Yep. And now we can go ahead and reboot the server, put in your uh, CD or a bootable thumb drive into the server. And you're going to be all set to now have your OS on safely RAID uh, protected storage. Thanks you guys. Hope this video was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.